Hi everyone, please excuse the head scarf, I just put my hair in its place after I washed it. But today I'm going to be doing my first attempt at making my own shea butter and mango butter mixture. I'll be using extra virgin olive oil, apricot oil, castor oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, argan oil, and last but not least, vitamin E. Most of these oils, except for apricot oil, have penetrating properties that help to moisturize the hair without the use of water. For the base, I will be using mango butter and shea butter. Mango butter and shea butter both have a lot of vitamins and nutrients that are good for your hair. Here, I'm just placing chunks of mango butter into a small pot. I don't need that much, but it's a lot harder than shea butter. That's a pretty big piece of mango butter, but yeah, whatever. And here I'm adding in the shea butter. I'm just using a little less than the same amount of the mango butter. I wanted the mango butter to be the main base, but since it's so hard, I mean the stuff is like rock solid even at room temperature, um, I ended up just using like a little bit less shea butter, but that's okay. It was my first attempt. I'm not really upset about it. Just adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which was going to add a lot of moisture and a lot of shine to your hair, which is very, very good for your hair. Well, you know, I really don't like the smell that much, so I wouldn't add it straight to it. And here I am using one tablespoon of castor oil. Castor oil is incredibly moisturizing. Um, it can help thicken thinning spots like thin eyelashes, thin edges, other thin areas. Um, it can also promote hair growth. The next oil that I'm using is a little less than one tablespoon of apricot oil. Apricot oil is very nourishing. Um, it nourishes the hair and the skin. It's filled with fatty acids. It also helps prematurely age skin and wrinkles. I actually use this instead of lotion and I've been using it for a few months now and I like it. Uh, next is one tablespoon of coconut oil which is penetrating and moisturizing. It repairs and strengthens damaged hair so if you have perms or bleach damage I recommend that. Then two teaspoons of avocado oil which is packed with nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin E. This also has amino acids. I used to use this as lotion but like eh. This, it's almost the same consistency as apricot oil, but I didn't like the smell that much. It wears off after you rub it in, but, eh, you know, whatever. I'm picky. Um, next is one teaspoon of argan oil. Argan oil is incredibly lightweight. It really isn't like a strong smell or anything like that. I really don't notice it that much. Um, yeah, I had to fill the dropper up like three times just to get it to one teaspoon. But if your hair isn't like a straightened style or anything, add argan oil to it. It's lightweight and you don't need any other moisture than that. It can just moisturize the hair on its own. Next is... <laughs> I had to rub my hands in because there was oil like everywhere. And then next is the vitamin E. It's a little less than one table teaspoon of vitamin E. Uh, vitamin E almost matches castor oil in its consistency. It's very thick, except this is kind of sticky, so I've been putting it on my stretch marks and things like that, but eesh, you know, it's very sticky. I wouldn't like put this on and then leave the house. I would put it on right before I went to bed or something. So yeah, and here I'm just mixing everything together. Um, as you can see, like everything's mixing pretty well. The shea butter is very, very soft at room temperature. Um, it mixes a lot better than the mango butter. Like, mango butter is smooth to touch, but you can't, like, it's hard. Does that make sense? Like, 
it's smooth and you can take a piece of it and like rub it in your skin and it'll moisturize your skin like lotion but like it won't rub in and dissolve you'll just be like it's basically putting like a bar of soap or something on on your skin in the shower like that's what it feels like um it's very moisturizing and everything i like it a lot but at room temperature it is like rock solid like this stuff is no joke at all um it doesn't rub in the same way a shea butter would or like a softer butter or an oil would so you know just something to look out for if you ever consider making your own mango butter mix or just straight mango butter i would suggest softening it a little bit melting it and then whipping it with like a hand mixer like i'm doing here so that it's like light and fluffy and you're not breaking off chunks of it and a lot of chunks of it got stuck in the mixer it's an old mixer anyway whatever i don't even like like we've had this thing since before i was born i'm not even kidding um but yeah this stuff is hard um and i tried to mix it as much as i could like i was pretty consistent with it some of it did mix together but like the bigger pieces the yeah it was no help in that at all like that was just not happening um but yeah i tried my best you know i stuck with it for a very 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 long time i actually edited a lot out of this video i'm not kidding like this stuff oh my goodness i can't omg i can't even <laughs> But yeah, I stuck with it, you know, kept mixing again once I removed all the chunks and everything. And here, I actually just gave up with it and I created a little mini double broiler using my Keurig. Actually, my mother's Keurig, but whatever. We use it more than she does. Um, what I did was took some really hot water, put it in a bigger cup, took the mango butter, put it in a smaller cup, and just combined them. Please stop texting me, oh my goodness. And then, um, yeah, you can see there that the shea butter is mostly mixed up. I didn't want to melt it completely. Um, I just wanted it to soften up a bit, but, you know, there was really no help in that, so I just did what I could. Most of it did get melted, though, but that's okay, because once it, you know, cools back down and everything solidifies, then it'll be the right consistency that I want it to be. I didn't make it boiling hot, either. I just, like, wanted to get the bigger pieces melted the best that I could like soften down to the core and here I'm just mixing it up a little bit more I didn't want it like boiling hot or anything like that I just wanted to for it to be able to all just blend together as you can see melting the mango butter made it a lot smoother like a lot smoother but yeah let me just tell you why I chose these oils. Extra virgin olive oil is very moisturizing. Um, so all of them are naturally moisturizing. That means you don't need, need any other moisturizer like water. Because normally you would uh, spray water on your hair or something and then seal it with an oil. But without, so that it won't evaporate and everything. But with just extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil or argan oil, coconut oil, basically every single oil that I used except for apricot oil. You don't need water at all. They're naturally moisturizing. Castor oil especially. And here's what it looks like when it's all done. Uh, it's not as silky once it cools down and solidifies a little bit more. But yeah, you can see I'm playing with it there. Once you rub it in, it turns to like straight oil. There's no residue at all. And here's how my hair looks right now. Uh, recently we've been experimenting with twisting it instead of just washing it loose and applying oil and letting it like shrink up because that's you know it's so much easier but my hair has grown a lot since my big shot back in january 20th hey eight months close um and with the twist i can see a lot of length but not much definition but you know that's okay i'm still learning a lot whatever uh, once the mango shea butter mix is in um it absorbs there isn't any residue or anything like that and there you have it i hope this helps anyone looking for their own recipe i've been wanting to do this mixture for a very long time like right when i first started transit 
transitioning over a year ago. So this has been a very, very, very long time coming. And I'm glad that I finally just got my stuff together and figured out a way to do it. So I hope you liked it. I hope this helped. And yeah, bye-bye.